Do you have a teacher that you dread catching when you're late? Mr Hannessy. Back to the buzzers, five times five. 25, back in. I will keep you here for lunch. Oh, see, that's not fair. Well, we're not going to lunch until we finish this question. Simple. Mr Hennessy has taught maths at Willows for the last six years. What made you get into teaching in the first place? Oh, God. Uh, long holidays. I don't know what the hell you're doing. Take a seat. Oh, mate. Arrived for one day supply in 2009, then a week, then a month, then a term, then a year, then another year. Those who've been no problem will be out the door in, like, 30 seconds. I'll be here longer. Go away. Who are the most strict teachers? There's only one. It would be Mr Hennessy. Mr Hennessy. Mr Hennessy. Two lads here and kicked out of the bus. Well, I'm going to ask him once. Are you going to park in, gents? Because I'm going to make sure you're in there after lunch as well. I mean, no, it's a nice I'm not. He's nice, but he could be horrible. Stop. Heel. Mr Hennessy, be miserable. Isolation. Do you think it's important for students to like you? To like me? <laughs> um... Emily! Emily! Always the most popular one. And a one-word answer, no. Bloody... Oh, she's the third time up these bloody stairs. <sighs> As a head of house, Mr Hennessy oversees the progress of 120 students at the school. And one of them is taking up the majority of his time. <sighs> Could I speak to Leah, please? Yeah, yeah. He's concerned Leah's poor attendance is making her fall behind. Challenges for Leah this term are to keep her in school all of the time, make sure she's attending core subjects, and get as many qualifications as we can. Thursday. You were late. Thursday and Friday, I was out. Are you sure? Yeah. Do you want me days off uh, this year? None. None. I still choose when to be ill. Along with her mother, we've decided that I will ring her on a daily basis to make sure she's coming in on time. Normally about 8 o'clock every morning, give her a quick ring. Sometimes she answers, sometimes she doesn't. It's like a game. Well, you won't answer. I'm going to keep ringing until you answer. Just stop these patterns of the odd day in there. And the most frustrating thing is, she is very bright. She could be leaving with a very good set of results, but you need to put some effort here and now. Morning. How was uh, Friday? Didn't even get into a quarter to three. Quarter to three? Yeah. What time you acted your age? <laughs> quarter to three? Bloody hell. It's 7.30 a.m. Mr Hennessy is the first teacher to arrive for the day. People who know me, I, I don't think they'd say that patients of a saint. I, I think I am patient, you've got to be. It's the day after Leah truanted, and she hasn't turned up for her first class. As part of the school's approach, Mr Hennessy regularly calls Leah to make sure she's coming in. Your call has been forwarded to an automated voice message system. I won't answer the phone. I'll leave a ring. Hello? Hello? And then as soon as it stops ringing, I'll quickly text him mother. So I don't have to listen to his face. When you have finished recording, you may hang up or press one. Morning. <sighs> Courtney, 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 Courtney. Were you in school all day yesterday? Yeah. No. Yeah. His referral says you went true into National Five. I'm, I'm going mad, absolutely mad. I got told there was three students involved, right? But you're saying you weren't involved. Can you turn that off or answer it? I'm just, I'm just picking up the crap, picking up the pieces. Who is ringing you? No, it was me. I was going to say, you've got to see Mr Hannessy with me. You went through it in lesson six yesterday. I see it. I don't know when I'm coming or going with you two at the moment. Do you know the easiest thing for me to do is go, tell you what, you're in your 11, balls to him. But you are so close to actually making it, but you threw up one lesson, it just snowballs. 
Well, you're definitely in isolation. So why ain't she there? Oh, I, that's what it definitely. Ah, oh, Mia and Courtney. Were you through it, didn't you, Esther? Or not? You've got two routes. You can either say, you are rebelling, you don't want to do it, I'll just leave you alone. Or you can take the attitude of, well, actually, you've got six months left. We've got a chance to change you around. <laughs> Were you a true international fire? But teenagers, they think they've got all the time in the world, so... Oh, yeah, we'll, we'll worry about that next month. And before we know it, we're in May, June, and exams are on the corner. Were you a lesser five or not? No. Thank you for clearing that up. Isolation. It's the end of lunch. Leah and Courtney's next lesson starts in five minutes. You all right? Yeah, uh, you know. Oh, my God! When you have finished recording, you may hang up. With Leah's behaviour showing no sign of improvement, Mr Hennessy calls her mum. Hi, it's Mr Hennessy from Willows. How are you? The reason I'm ringing, uh, I'm very, very concerned about Leah at the moment. I'm concerned that she's starting to unravel. She's uh, starting to go AWOL. So any particular reason, anything going on that you know of? What did you leave Year 11 with? Me? Uh, two GCSEs. That was about it. I can remember my GCSE results day. The rest of the boys were celebrating. I remember being in the kitchen with my mother. In tears. Great big lad in tears with my mother. Oh, yeah, she's a very bright girl. That's, that's why I'm trying to keep on top of her. But I was lucky in that straight away she was on the phone to contacts at local colleges and went on from there. All right, thank you. ta -ra. From the moment they come to school, the moment they leave, that's a massive responsibility because that will keep you awake, thinking, oh, my God, like me, they're going to leave with an E or a fail or whatever, and there are no excuses, no hiding places. It's you. It's period three. We need to go and see Mr Hennessy, Leah. And Leah is only just arriving for the day. No, sit down. Get him out of that box and sit down. After yesterday's truanting, she's due to spend the morning in the isolation unit. Sir, am I in inclusion? Where were you yesterday afternoon? Well, what's it called? Uh, yeah, because one of the... I'm teaching right now, Leah, or trying to. No. Tough love, probably the hardest aspect of the job. But she needs to follow the rules, otherwise we've got no hope. My mum always makes me go to school all the time. She says, I'll turn out like my older brother. I got scared by that. I feel so emotional. feels pure depressed. We do have a small percentage of kids that test us day in, day out, and they're very needy. They're a challenge, but if you keep pushing it and pushing it, something might click. I hope Leah realises that it's not too late. So, do you still need a phone call in the morning? Well, you, still need well, you said they left me now. Well, you know, it's, it's like an argument with a wife type thing, you know? Settle down after 48 hours and emotions are back down. But I'm not going to give up. So do you still need a phone call in the morning? Yeah. Are you 
you crying? Oh my god, Lee, what the fuck? <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Why I'm crying like is this school like I can't stand it? Gets you pure depressed. Just been feeling like I want to cry all week. Are you scared about failing? I'm very scared. I wake up every day and I just think, I don't know if I want to stay in school or not. Because myself, I don't reckon that I'm good. It's five o'clock. Mr Hennessy has received a text from Leah. Well, I saw her in the canteen. I said, oh, do, you want me to, do you want me to keep ringing you? And then she sends me that text message. Sends it to you. Give me it's a school phone. Alright. Oh, the school gets me. Oh. Oh. Speak to me. I just needed to ring you because that text got me worried where you're just starting to implode. You've come so far, you just need to start believing in yourself. Yeah? Just don't start losing it now. Right. right, enjoy the rest of your evening. I'll speak to you in the morning. Cheer up, for God's sake. Ta da! You talk so nice. Yeah. Oh. Most of the time, she's quite a closed book with me. But then, kind of this fence comes down, she's talking, she's communicating. She started to think and move forward, which I suppose some people would describe as maturing. What well, thing is, Jude? Do you, th do you think, do you think, Leah yeah. and Courtney yeah. think they're lucky or they hate me? I bet they hate you. Right? Exactly. Yeah. But they don't realise how lucky they are, do they? Right, I'll see you in the morning, girls. See ya. Is she coming? Is she coming or not? Done the isolation, done the phone calls, we have the tears, we have the shouting match, but you've got to selectively think, well, enough's enough, they've got to take take on board what you said now and let them fly or crash. Come on, my lovelies. You know, it's always lovely to see you, but I'd like to see you a little bit earlier. Mr. Hennessy, because he knows that I've got the potential of doing something and he thinks if he don't try and help me, I won't help myself then. Right, if we can fill up the gaps, that would be lush. It just keeps saying, like, you're clear that I'm not, you could get anything on that. So then I thought, oh, I might be able to. Calm down, Gerald, sit there, just sit down. So I thought, what's the point in doing so many years in school and then not getting anything out of here? So I thought, right, you've got to change now and start growing up and all. <coughs> I'm starting to be organised now, trying to get it on time. It's hard, but then, like, if I pass, oh, I feel like, oh, my God, I just achieved something for once. What's it called? I don't know, what's it called? I want, <laughs> right, a Christmas picture to stick on Mr Hennessy's card. Right, then. 
What was that? <laughs> I think the kids reluctantly like him. I think that the kids actually are wise enough to see how hard he works. Thank you for helping me out this year. He'll be lucky to go out and meet. I'm going to give him one, but he'll be lucky he's having one. You can be as Mr Grumpy and as pushy as you like, but the kids know you care, and I think that's much more important to our kids than anything else. Something came through in the post this morning. Yeah, I've just seen Special that. Special delivery. Mm. <laughs> She's a cheeky girl. Oh, wow, wow. She was here till quite late last night putting that together, so, you know, you are there in her head and in her heart. Do you think you've got quite a sensitive side? Yeah, I, I, yes. I, I don't think it always comes across. Yeah, I, I'm a sensitive soul, really. The, the exterior doesn't really show the inside. Oh, my God, this is amazing. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>